Now, at Team 4 Reports exclusive investigation. Tonight, I will take you to a place where no cameras have ever gone before to meet people you probably never even imagined existed. Thousands of people in a place like no other. In my special report tonight, we're taking you to a crisis looming in our own backyard. I lost my temper. I had threatened to kill him. I've had five episodes when I shot the gun in the air. And told him I've been here five times. Hi, Mom! I'm on TV! Welcome to the biggest mental institution in the country. My diagnosis is uh, paranoid schizophrenia, manic depression. Only this mental institution is not a hospital or a clinic. The hospital of last resort is Twin Towers Correctional Facility. The inmates actually start Meet to Chief to Charles Jackson, running the biggest known jail in the world, right here in central Los Angeles. So what do you run here? Do you run a jail or do you run a mental institution? I run both. Both means 18,500 inmates, including 2,200 mentally ill men and more than 300 mentally ill women. And those mentally ill swing between jail and the streets and back to jail in a revolving door that ends right here. The U.S. Justice Department spent a number of years investigating the jail and found out, after spending hundreds of thousands of dollars, what they could have found out by one intelligent person who could see and hear walking through there one time, that the place is a hellhole. Pleasure to see you again, sir. Meet Los Angeles County Sheriff Lee Baca. The jails have become the first care facility for many homeless people, for veterans, for people who literally belong in hospitals or in clinics dealing with the issues that affect their mental health. According to federal government estimates, more than 630,000 severely mentally ill adults currently live in California, many of them homeless, many of them in prison. 160 to 180,000 inmates a year are checked in here. That's an average of 500 to 600 a day. All color-coded for good reason. Screened, sorted, triaged, just like a battlefield. This is a facility that houses 200 inmates. 70,000 meals are served in Twin Towers each and every day here. The yellow shirts, the blue pants, brand them as mentally ill. Some of them lying on cots, looking like zombies. About 6,000 inmates at Twin Towers are on medication. It's an insane environment that's underfunded, understaffed, and in which nobody gets proper uh, treatment. Steve Yagman, a civil rights attorney, has represented mentally ill inmates against the Los Angeles County Jail and won. It's cost the county tens of millions of dollars. They're either settled or there are huge judgments. Last month, facing massive budget cuts, Sheriff Baca released 2,600 inmates to house arrest to help reduce the budget by $17 million. Critics call the move dangerous, sending a message that the criminal justice system is too lenient. I did a very foolish thing. I entered the home while she was not there. Unfortunately, it's the third time I broke the restraining order. So I never actually realized how sick I was until I was arrested. There's a lot of people who don't belong here. And why are they here? Because who else is going to take care of them? And it's not just the homeless and the nameless. Two years from now, you're going to have Iraqi veterans here in Twin Towers. Did you see it after Persian Gulf? Yes, we did, and they're still here. Our last stop was the most severe. We're on the seventh floor of the Twin Towers. So disturbed and so dangerous, the only contact is made through a slot, thin enough for a metal tray. To my knowledge, there's been no other television or media crew here in this particular part of the jail. Even the doors are crowded, crowded with signs that tell a story in a word or two. These men are dressed in blue gowns, extra thick materials. That's so they can't fashion a rope to hang themselves. For all intents and purposes, it is a psychiatric hospital. There are still things we can do better. Marvin Southern is director for the Los Angeles County Mental Health Department. Los Angeles County Jail is, in effect, the largest mental institution in the United States. So it's claimed. And it's true because a lot of the inmates that leave end up coming back. It's, right. just, it's just a circle. Doesn't the buck really stop right here in this office? Absolutely. We can use the current resources that we have more effectively than we have done. The system is totally broke. And the jails are not the answer. There's an employment component. There's a housing component. There's a substance abuse component. There is a social stigma component. And all of these have to be addressed together with the treatment component at the same time, or we don't move the system very far. The sounds and the scenes from the Twin Towers ward stay with you for a long time. Let me tell you that, especially the seventh floor. 
We will follow this story until somebody figures out a way to bring the right kind of care and dignity to the people who are in most need of help.